In this video, we go over the use of basic string handling. String manipulation is the act of manipulating, extracting, or changing the characters in a string variable. Let's look at some examples. So the first here is an example of an online form. Regardless of how the user inputs their first and last name, we want the program to store the names internally with the first letter as a capital and the rest in lower case. And this can be achieved by using string manipulation commands. And we can do this in three steps. Step one, extract the first letter from the input and convert it to uppercase. Step two, extract all the remaining letters and convert them to lowercase. And step three, join the two parts back together again. This second example is using text parsing. You can input phrases into many search engines like six centimeters in inches. The search engine then parses this text string and provides a sensible output. In this case, it would need to extract the number six, the characters CM and the characters INCHES. So let's look at how these string manipulation commands can be used in Python. And there's four that you need to be aware of for your exam. The first is the ability to find out the length of a string. So in Python, we say len, L-E-N, and then we provide the string in brackets. So here, if we have the statement length equals len bracket string brackets, if string was hello, length would become equal to five. We also need to be able to convert from uppercase to lowercase. And we can perform this with commands such as dot upper and dot lower. So we can see here we've got a couple of strings that have been set to the word hello. And if we perform dot upper and dot lower, it returns those strings as either all upper and all lowercase. And finally, we need to know how to extract a substring. That's take part of a string from a string. Now in Python, this uses something called slicing, but essentially they do the same thing. It returns part of a string, starting at the character of the first parameter and counting up by the number in the second parameter. So here, if our string contained the word hello, Charles would become equal to I. So although we've showed you how those string manipulation functions work in Python, as we've said, you obviously need to be aware of the pseudocode format, which you'll be shown in the exam. On the screen now are the four string operators you need to know about, along with how they operate in the exam. Thank you.